Hello everyone, my name is Yunya, nice to meet you. The title of my paper today is Structural Relationship Between Chinese Family Background and Cognitive Ability. Focusing on social capital, self-efficacy, and interpersonal variables in the home. The thesis consists of five parts. Let's look at part one, introduction. One, no society of research. It is cognitive ability that plays a tremendous role in the acquisition of an individual's socioeconomic status. The cultivation of cognitive ability is mainly accomplished through education. Students improve their cognitive ability through education in various settings at home and in school. Cognitive ability is highly related to academic achievement in language mathematics and English, and it can explain most of changes in one's academic achievement. However, there exist huge discrepancies in the opportunities which students can acquire to improve their cognitive abilities to do the various environment at home, different qualities of schools, and the scale of capital. Therefore, the issue of inequality in cognitive abilities acquired by individual students in the current in education system must be addressed in modern society. 2. A research question. Family background is the most important determinant of educational achievement. However, the level of parents' socioeconomic status is not the only factor that determines their children's level of academic achievement. To solve the problem of educational inequality, it is necessary to pay attention to the importance of not only household variables, but also the individual and the school variables. Based on this, the following study aims to analyze the structural relationship between Chinese family backgrounds and cognitive abilities through the analysis of Chinese education panel survey data. However, in analysis of CEPS, this study considers not only the students' academic achievement in language mathematics and English, but also their cognitive ability test scores, individual variables such as self-efficacy, household variables such as social capital in a family, and school variables such as peer relationships. Therefore, the results obtained from this study are expected to contribute to resolutions to education inequality. Part 2. Theoretical Background 1. Concept of Cognitive Ability According to Never Encyclopedia of Korea, cognitive abilities is referred as the abilities acquired and utilized and gained knowledge by oneself. Cognitive abilities include the mental capabilities such as understanding, reasoning, problem solving, criticism, and creativity. As a result, Mother Chen uses common elements of intellectual abilities, such as the IQ test, combined with the scores obtained from language, mathematics, and English test to determine one's cognitive abilities. Furthermore, these standardized test scores are used to evaluate to evaluate the quality of school education as well. 2. 
factors affecting one's cognitive ability. In the process of emphasizing the concept of ability, many scholars observed that parents and family environment plays essential roles in the acquisition of cognitive abilities. And that parents having great abilities and the degree of participation have a positive influence in the formation of their children's abilities. Although the family background affects the acquisition and the improvement of cognitive abilities directly, the degree. Degree of communication and the joint activities between the parents and the children, parents' educational sub, 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 support for edu- students and uh, interests can be a、uh, vehicle. Vehicle. Therefore, it can be said that the magnitude of the influence of the family background on the student's ability acquisition is dependent on the social capital at home. The most important factors influencing students' academic performance can be affected by. By their peer relationships in school, not only by their family background and social capital in the household. One's perception and the judgment of his or her own ability and the growth of ability of ability in each field, such as individual physiology and.、Uh, Psychology or start with family life. That is the main effect factor and、uh, source of one's self-efficacy is family. This sense of self-efficacy has significantly greater impact on academic performance than other factors. Based on the above prior studies, the following research investigates how social capital in household self-efficacy and peer relationship affect the impact relationship between family background and cognitive ability. Part three, research method. One data and samples. The study used the data from the China Education Panel Survey of the National Survey Research Center at Renmin University of China. The China Education Panel Survey is a long-term follow-up survey of approximately twenty thousand participants. Teaching students in the first year of middle school and the third year as the third, twenty thirteen to twenty fourteen. Two variable description the research model. Here, cognitive abilities consists of cognitive ability test scores and student standardization grades. The family background consists of wealth, maternal education, and the economic level of the family. The social capital in the family is measured with the following questions: Have parents ever urged a student to study? Do you often have conversation with your child related to the following? Self-efficacy is measured with the following questions: a clear explanation of my own opinion, my responsiveness is fast, and、uh, I accept new knowledge quickly. In the personal relationships, quality is measured with the following questions: the majority of the classmates. Are next to me. I think it's easy to get along with people. I often participate in activities organized by school classmates, and I have kind feelings about people in this school. 
part for research results. 1. Descriptive statistics and the correlation between variables. The results obtained from using different statistics tests to observe the trend between variables and to observe the data general reliability are shown in table 2. 2. The results of structural equation modeling. Goodness of fit of the model. Several indicators used to determine the suitability of study model established in this study and their review results are summarized in table 3. This study used the TLA, the CFI, and the RMSEA as the indices for determining the fit of the model. The goodness of fit indices obtained from the study model are TLA.903, CFI.938, RMSEA.056, indicating that the proposed model shows an appropriate fit with the used data. Analysis results for structural models. Table 4 summarizes the analysis results of the structural model which explains the relationship between the family background and cognitive ability of Chinese middle school students. Because the selected structural equation model was evaluated to be an appropriate and reliable model, as the estimation results for each variable shows, family background has a clear relationship with social capital at home, self-efficacy level, and the cognitive abilities, and it was found to be the most influenced variable to cognitive ability. Point three eight four. However. It was observed that the family background did not have a meaningful effect on interpersonal relationships. It was found that social capital at home exerts a significant effect on self-efficacy levels and peer relationships. However, it was found that social capital at home did not have a remarkable impact on cognitive abilities. In addition, it can be seen that self-efficacy levels have a significant impact on interpersonal relationships and cognitive abilities. Effector decomposition When looking at the results of decompositions of the effects of the estimates of the structural equations presented in Table 5, the effect of the family background on cognitive ability was 0.452, showing the greatest effect, which can be cons considered as the results proving the importance of the family background. Specifically, the di direct effect was calculated to be uh, 0.384 while the indirect effect was calculated to be 0.067. Next, the effect of social capital at home on cognitive abilities was calculated to be 0.131 as the whole effect which consists of the direct effect 0.018. The indirect effect 0.113. The number representing the effects of self-efficacy levels on cognitive ability was found to be 0.146 as a whole. And it consists of the direct effect 0.197 and the indirect effect 0.149. Finally, the number describing the effect on peer relationship on cognitive abilities was 0.195 as a whole.
and it consists of the direct effect 0.195 and the indirect effect was not observed. Figure 2 consistently shows the above structural model estimation results. Part 5 Discussion and Conclusion 1. Summary and Conclusion First, the family background was observed to have a significant relationship with social capital, self efficacy level, and cognitive ability at home. Among them, family background has been found to have the strongest influence on cognitive ability. Whether in China or Korea, the inequality in so society is rapidly grown. Family background has a great influence on children's academic achievement, and it has been consistently reported that the greater the background of the family is, the higher the level of their children's academic performance is. The higher the family socioeconomic background, the, the more positive the child's relationship with their parents, the better the self efficacy peer relationship and the higher the grade. On the other hand, family background does not have a significant effect on peer relationships. Since they studied in the look at the a average family background of different peer groups. Whether the phenomenon in which students from the same family background gather to from each other peer group, group cannot be verified. Secondly, Social capital at home has shown to have significant impact on self-efficacy and peer relationships. The effects of social capital in the home has con uh, is home has continuity and uh, scalability. Personality traits from the dream family exchanges can spread widely outside the home. It works strongly, particularly when interacting with peers. However, social capital in the home does not have a significant effect on cognitive ability. This phenomenon, this phenomenon, phenomenon may be explained with the resource resource size dilution model. According to the resources dilution model, large number of siblings can lessen the opportunities of in interacting between parents and their children, reducing, reducing, reducing the parental influence that children can re receive. This may affect the social capital of each child and the achievement of their education. Third, self-efficacy has a significant effect on peer relationship and cognitive abilities. When students get positive evaluations, they set positive attitudes, therefore when contributing and interacting with others. They can start new human interchange, interchange with a positive attitude. Furthermore, bring magnitude to things. Meanwhile, it is shown that higher self-efficacy led to better academic achievement. Finally, peer relationships have been found to have a significant effect on cognitive abilities. To limit points, lastly, this writer would like to 
present the direction of follow-up studies but on the limitations of this study. One of the limitations of this study is that although the factors contributing to one's development of cognitive abilities are diverse and complex, this study is limited in data collection and statement of ability. So family background is discussed mainly in aspects of economic level and uh, parents' educational level. In addition, the survey was completed by 7th and 9th grade students. So due to the influence of uh, understanding in the question level and the current, current cognitive abilities, household level of parental education, there can be a gap from the reality, which can affect the credibility and the effectiveness, effectiveness, effectiveness of measurement. Furthermore, there may be factors other than the family background contributing to the development of children's cognitive abilities and the pathways and uh, including factors of different home backgrounds and different types uh, type, types of children may differ. Therefore, this issue must be addressed and uh, investigated in the follow-up study. My presentation is over. Thank you.